What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs. Welcome back to Juno once again, the first port of the cruise. And the weather in Juno is actually not so terrible today. It has been raining, but it seems to have stopped now. So I've decided to go for a little walk. And um, I, I do know that there's a hiking trail nearby. So I figured why not give it a try and uh, take advantage of the first non really rainy day in Juno I've had for a very very long time. What did you find again? <laughs> Berries. What is this? Cherry is very good. These ones look a lot bigger than the ones we saw in Ketchikan. Hiking trail has brought us to Cope Park. Katarina's behind me by the way. Yo, this staircase is really really long and the metal staircase actually makes it quite quite slippy. You got to be careful if you come here. This is Juno Cope Park. And I can hear a waterfall somewhere, which sounds like it's relatively close. Perfect timing, so the sun has literally just come out and me and Casavita actually managed to find our way to the bottom of the waterfall. I didn't realize it was going to be this close. How awesome is that? Oh, crazy man, he's going down, guys. Yeah, I think so. So it looks like the waterfall starts at the top and it goes down and you can see it coming on a... Is that not the same waterfall? I think it may be. Okay, give me this. <laughs> what, this way? Oh, this way we, uh... Actually, yeah, this looks good. This looks good, actually. I'll do both ways. Okay, one. Yeah, the... the... Fog in the sky looks really cool. Oh yes, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, good poses. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretend that you're walking. How you get the? <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, so this stretch of the bridge here that we've just taken, um, uh, that we've just taken all of our photos has definitely turned out to be our better photos. The nature and the trees, the size of the trees just look really photo energetic. And yeah, I think hundreds of photos have been taken today. So now I have to start slowly going through all of them and uh, I'll be posting on my Instagram very, very soon. So for those of you who are not following me on Instagram yet, what are you doing? Chris Wong Vlogs, go follow me on Instagram right now. So we have got a Captain's Original S'more. We have no idea really what it is. It looks like, oh, it's marshmallow? Yeah, it looks like marshmallow. And then there's chocolate on top. We got it from this place here. Captain S'mores and brew. Yeah, this is our first time trying a small oh no there's, there's cracker and then there's marshmallow and then there's chocolate yeah it's just a marshmallow no no i can see the cookie underneath oh really yeah it's not cookie, it's a biscuit or something oh, all right oh, let's try it ah good morning guys welcome back to sitka nice and early 9 a.m got off the ship it's very yeah very calm and peaceful today no wind it's actually kind of warm weather as well i'm actually quite surprised even though it doesn't look it but like i said it is nine o'clock in the morning and i decided to get off early today because i actually want to try and go see the bears so if anyone is here uh, in alaska anytime soon or next year my advice for you when you're exploring sitka is to get off early because the um the lines for the shuttle bus which i've learned over the last two times i've been here can actually be very very long so the earlier you get off uh yeah you just make more use of your time and the line coming back to the ship for the shuttle is also very long shuttle bus to downtown and as you can see there is like nobody here see this is why you wake up early 
trust me when I say the line is going to be huge later today. All right, so the bus just dropped us off in this area here, which is like the main bus terminal, I guess you would call it, uh, right in the middle of the town. And this is why I said come here early, because even though I got off the ship at 9 a.m., I've arrived here now at 9.30. The bus that I want to take to get to the Fortress of the Bears doesn't leave for one hour. All right, that's the next available uh, bus that I could get. So I have to just hang around for one hour. All right, so I just made it in. 15 minute drive on the shuttle. It cost me $15 for the admission, $10 for the shuttle. And uh, yeah, let's see what I can see. Yo, this one's walking right to me. Hey, dude. Look how cute his face is. That's amazing. That's actually unreal. Jeez. <laughs> so cute. And this one's like uh, hanging out by the tree. It's cool, like they sit up almost like humans. So they walk on all fours, but they, they can sit and I think they can stand on two feet as well. That's so cool. Well, I hope it's as cute in camera as it is in real life. I wonder if they're bored or they're actually having fun here. This one at the bottom. Oh, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> What's he doing? It's like he's uh... <laughs> Yeah, this one at the bottom is actually really energetic. He's hungry. Kind of walking through it. Oh my goodness, you done already? Alright, everybody gets one piece of fish. Here we go, one piece of fish for everybody. Yeah, we're going to, mm. That's all we're going to do right now. Shake! Oh boy. <laughs> one piece of fish. It's a heck of a toss, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You get a little bit of practice right at the strike zone. <laughs> uh, lunch, lunch time. So, yeah, this is how the bears eat. They kind of just lie down on the stomach and they just start munching away. Mmm, bon appetit, guys. Well, no, that's the thing. He never hit the bears. It was right at their pot. Look at them munching. Nom 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 nom. All right, something's happening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. That's amazing. There it is. Ooh. Time to eat, guys. Wow. <laughs> as soon as they saw her coming with the food, they all just got up. Yeah, they have an interesting environment in this, um, what do you call it, in this sort of bear sanctuary, in the fortress of the bears. So they've got like water area where they can jump in. They've got trees and logs to sort of climb and play with. This is how the fortress of the bear setup is. So you've got all of these sort of viewing areas. The bears are just kind of all around you. And you just, you know, look for a nice spot to lean over and have a look. I'm not really sure what I was expecting when I uh, saw this thing online. But yeah, welcome to the Fortress of the Bears, Sitka, Alaska. All right, so I have successfully made it back to the port from the Fortress of the Bears. Very, very nice tour, but as I told you, the line for the bus is already starting to grow and my all on board time is 4 p.m. It's only 1 p.m. now, but this is the line to get back to the ship. So better be safe than sorry. Let's start heading back to the ship. And just like that, back at the port, two cruise ships in the town today, or there might be more actually, uh, docked on another area. We have Celebrity Eclipse once again and Ovation of the Seas. Ah, all right guys, once again, welcome back to Victoria, Canada. Once again, it is a very glorious day, bit of a switch up of location. I've actually come to Fisherman's Wharf. I've actually realized I've walked past Fisherman's Wharf every single week I've been here in Victoria and I've just never, I don't know, I just never gone in. So when I saw it today, I thought, all right, let's do something different today. It's always nice to discover new locations, uh, especially when you are in the same ports week in, week out. But let me just show you what Fisherman's Wharf looks like. It's very, very interesting. So welcome to Fisherman's Wharf here in Victoria, British Columbia. And look how colorful this is. 
it's actually kind of a cool spot. So there's a load of shops and restaurants and I don't know, other things. I think they're renting kayaks here or they're renting out kayaks. So you get to walk down this cool little walk path and uh, you're greeted with the vibe is awesome. Especially when it's sunny, like, there's loads of people here having a good time, chilling, relaxing, ice cream. Hey, this is, uh, this is actually really nice. Wow, I can't believe I uh, never knew all of this was here. There are a lot more food options here than I thought. So you've got like ice cream over here, you've got pizza right here, Mexican food over here. Behind me I've got fish and chips. A bit further down this way there's seafood and they were selling desserts like donuts and candy floss. So I've just been walking up and down this part now and there's a whole bunch of shops here which is really nice and interesting to look at, gift shops. There's a place that's also selling tours for whale watching and kayaking. Yeah, this is um, yeah, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by Fisherman's Wharf today. But what's also interesting to know is actually on Fisherman's Wharf, these are all private homes. Like at first when I saw them, I wasn't sure like what these were, but people are actually living here. It's actually quite an interesting, unique way of life. And the way the houses are, it's very colorful, it's very clean. Yeah, I'll show you some of the, the decor I can see now. So you can see people have put the plants outside the front doors. Over on this side, this house has got surfboards attached to the side. Uh, what else? Over on my left, people are hanging up their bikes on the wall. <laughs> Uh, what else? That's the post box. This fish here. I feel like Fisherman's Wharf is a very underrated spot because most people on the cruise ship, they would probably just head straight towards the downtown area, not knowing this was here. Like I said, I've been here every single week since I've been on the ship for months now and I've only just discovered this area. So my recommendation, if you are ever in Victoria, on your ship on the next itinerary I would definitely check out Fisherman's Wharf it's definitely worth just walking around and uh, checking out the vibe yeah I've just been walking along the uh, like this part of the dock now on the pier and I've just been checking out the boats <sighs> what a day all right guys so that's gonna do it for today's vlog I hope it was a very enjoyable one I'm going to end it here once again in front of a storm actually figured out what this uh, building is uh, behind me. I know a lot of you did tell me in the comments but it's slipping my mind right now. Yeah I just want to apologize if this vlog hasn't been as exciting or as energetic as it is usually compared to my um, my normal videos. You know I do have a couple things on my mind right now a lot of issues at home that I'm sort of trying to deal with so it is I don't know I think it does affect my mood a little bit and sometimes I'm just you know, I'm just not in the mood to, you know, be on camera and be energetic and happy all the time. I am only human at the end of the day. I'm just the same as everybody else. I do have personal issues that, you know, affect life sometimes. But, you know, if you did still enjoy today's video, thank you so much for watching. And today's, once again, it's the last day of the cruise. Um, I'm just enjoying my few hours here in Victoria, Canada today. Uh, Victoria, British Columbia, sorry. And very soon I will be making my way back to the cruise ship and uh, you know going to work I have to start preparing everything for another cruise once again so in the meantime I've been Chris Wong comment like and subscribe that is the best way to keep up with all of my cruise ship vlogs and I will see you in the next one also what do you think of this cool totem pole right here <laughs> in the middle of the pavement on the sidewalk I've been Chris Wong see you later home sweet home back at the port and has anyone actually noticed that my last three ships have all been beginning with the letter o ovation of the seas odyssey of the seas last year and then oasis of the seas the contract before i guess chris one was destined to only work on royal ships beginning with the letter o